Greetings Smashers. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to use a controller on PC Smash Legends. So you see here that I've got a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. That is my favorite controller on the market right now for uh, playing games, whether it be on the Nintendo Switch or on the PC. And it's pretty easy to set up on Steam, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So if we switch over to Steam, if you go to Steam Settings, Controller, make sure that you have your controller plugged in via USB. Uh, I don't think the Bluetooth works, uh, so you, at least under Linux, um, I always connect through a USB-C to USB-A uh, adapter and plugged it right into my PC. So you go to the settings, controller, general controller settings, and it sort of brings up big picture mode automatically for you. And simply use, click on use Nintendo button layout. And that's pretty much all you do. It's detected that I have a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And that's it. Make sure that you always try out the controller before getting into a match, just to make sure that it's working. And you can see the the um, left joy joystick works no problem. On the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, A is jump, so it's pretty easy. Then X is slash. Do your combos. And then B is skill, your skill shot, and then your ultimate. I get that skill shot. So your ultimate is Y. And that's it. There, there's no configuration um, for controllers. It is. Uh, set by 5 Minute Labs. Uh, one improvement that I think they can make is with these shoulder buttons. Uh, there's four of them on the Nintendo Switch Pro uh, and there are four emotes, so 7890. Uh, I find it very difficult to take my hand off the controller and click on one of the emotes, so I just tend not to use the emotes. But it would be really nice to have that. And even they could put like the tab and the on the D-pad, like press up for tab and then left right to uh, scroll through your emotes and then down, something like that. So, yeah, other, unfortunately there is no configuration that you can do. It's just what it is. Um, it may be different on the Xbox controllers or the PlayStation controllers, uh, but it would be the same way. Um, you plug on, plug your Xbox or PlayStation controller into your PC with the USB cable, and then just make sure it's detected in Steam. But the controller is the best way of playing Smash Legends on the PC. There is keyboard um, controls, which it's really terrible, so I'm A, A, W, S, D, and it's just really hard to be precise with it because you can see when I'm using the controller, uh, when I'm using the keyboard, it's, you know, it's only one of eight directions, whereas with the uh, analog joystick, I've got a lot more options. And besides just using the buttons, it's just way more comfortable than pressing keys on the keyboard. You may be a pro keyboard guy, but I, I just think that a gamepad makes the most sense for this type of game. And, you know, you don't have to go out and spend $100 on a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Um, there are cheaper controllers in the market. Uh, for instance, the Gorilla Gamepad um, works quite well, and that's about half the price. And it's got all, it's the same 
set up as a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It works on the Nintendo Switch and other consoles and the PC. So same deal, um, I have a couple of those. And I think they're a good value and pretty much do exactly what the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller does. Granted, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller just feels really good in the hand. It's got a good weight to it. So if you have the extra cash, I'd recommend that. But it's up to you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you on the battlefield.